I'm Peter Molan. I'm a biochemist, a professor in biological sciences at the University of Waikato in New Zealand, and I'm also director of the Honey Research Unit. Uh, I've been carrying out research on Manuka honey for well over 25 years, since first discovering that it had a very unusual sort of antibacterial activity. And the research initially was mostly on its antibacterial uh, actions, then looking um, at other actions because I got very interested, certainly for more than 10 years, um, in its use in wound healing. Now, although I don't have direct clinical experience, other than just on family members and myself of using uh, Manuka honey. I do work very closely with specialist wound care nurses and have done so for a long time um, in developing the protocols for using Manuka honey and developing um, dressings for keeping it uh, in place. And what we found is once we learned how to use the honey properly, the importance of keeping it there and the importance of having it in contact with the whole of the surface of the wound, which sometimes means putting some liquid honey um, in underneath the dressing so it fills any cavities. But once we learned that, um, the results have been quite amazing. I've been asked why I think that Manuka honey is the ideal material to use on wounds. And there are many reasons for that. Um, firstly, where I started the research with its antibacterial properties, it has a very broad spectrum of action. In fact, we haven't found any species that it doesn't work on and it works on ones that are resistant to antibiotics, which makes it very useful um, in treating infected wounds because so many bacteria these days are resistant um, to antibiotics. And then besides that antibacterial activity, um, it has a very potent anti-inflammatory activity and Inflammation is what stops wounds from healing. Um, infection causes inflammation, but other things can cause inflammation. So that uh, anti-inflammatory activity is very important. And then, it, as well as having a direct effect on bacteria, um, it also stimulates the body's own immune response. The white blood cells get activated, so they are more effective in helping with clearing up infection. Now that stimulation also stimulates the healing process because it's the response of the white blood cells to injury or infection which starts the healing process. So the Manuka honey is very effective in getting tissue to repair the wound to heal up um, a lot more quickly. Um, the anti-inflammatory action um, is also important because it stops scarring. So when you get disfiguring scars from a wound of uh, injury of uh, any sort, um, that's a result of there being too much inflammation during the healing process. And you can get invisible mending, scar-free healing, if you use Manuka honey on the, the wound. Now, besides these uh, actions, honey in general has the properties of providing nutrients to the wound, which helps with the healing process. Although the content of um, essential minerals, vitamins, and essential amino acids in honey is not high enough for it to be the sort of thing to be used as a dietary supplement. All of these are present at the sort of level they're in the bloodstream. So they're supplying directly to the 
tissue in a repairing wound where there is a very limited blood supply, uh, they're, they're supplying those nutrients. And very importantly, with a very high content of glucose that's in honey, uh, it's providing the essential energy source for the white blood cells um, to be able to get to work clearing up infection, clearing up damaged and dead tissue, and starting off uh, that healing process.